Budget Bunny here with your November Rabbit Cage Tour. I'm going to start with Honey and Rockies this time just to switch it up. So they live in a four level storage cubed condo. These are NIC storage cubes. You can find them at places like Lowe's, Target, Walmart, Home Depot. And basically they're for building little storage units, but they're great for making cages as well. So a lot of people use these for guinea pig CNC cages. Instead of using, which basically means cubes and coroplast, instead of using coroplast though, because rabbits are such big chewers, we lined ours with with all natural wood and the floor is wood as well and then we just tiled it for easy cleanup. So if you guys are interested in how we built the condos I will leave the link in the description bar down below. Um, just quickly as well, my rabbits do not live full time in these condos. They are out all day for playtime every day and this is where they sleep at night. So this condo belongs to our bonded pair Honey and Rocky. So I'm just going to start with the very bottom level of their condo. This is where their litter box is as well as their hay rack. Rabbits love to poop where they eat so it's good if you're trying to encourage your rabbit to use a litter box um, to put it right underneath their hay rack. This hay rack is actually just made out of an under the shelf storage organizer that I've just put upright and I attached a piece of solid wood behind it to keep the hay in. Um, I got this at the dollar store years ago and it's held up really great. It holds a lot of hay so it's great when you have two bunnies and was inexpensive. And the litter boxes are just containers from Walmart. I think they were $4 each. What we actually have are two containers and the first container, because I've been getting questions about how to stop your rabbit from tipping their litter box, so what we did so that they couldn't move it around everywhere is actually bolt it into place. Okay, so what we actually did, see there's two containers here, if you can see. So this bottom one here is actually bolted into the wood back here and then this one just sits in top. So that way they can't kick or move it anywhere. And again, because these are just storage containers from Walmart, they were four bucks each. So for $8, um, we've got a perfectly usable litter box that they can't tip or move around or make a huge mess with. Okay, so just down in the back here, we have Rocky and Honey. They're always shy during cage tours. Hi, baby, hello. So in the back there, they just have a cardboard box, which makes a perfect and cheap hidey house. They can shred and chew it and dig at it all they want, and when it gets destroyed, I just replace it. And then they also have just one of those log fiddlesticks, little houses right there that they like to hop through. And just right here is the ramp that goes up to their second level. Alright, so this is the second level of their condo. So as you can see, they have a veggie ball as well as some baby key links. Those are from the dollar store. And you've probably seen this in previous cage tours. This is one of Rocky's favorite toys. And so I've put it back in the cage for him. This came from Shoppers Drug Mart, I think, and it was five or six dollars. It's just a, um, a baby toy, but it has like a rattle and he loves to pick it up and toss it. Baby toys are perfectly safe for your rabbits as long as they're hard plastic. Please avoid anything that's kind of that soft rubber. Um, that includes pet store toys too, like for dogs and stuff. You don't want anything that they can really dig their teeth into. Um, but something like this that is solid plastic is fine for them. Okay, so they just have one of these little jingle balls. I've put this loofah and wood hamburger back in their cage. It kind of circulates around. So you've probably seen it in other cage tours in different cages. They have this adorable Toys for Trees little ladybug. They have this all natural wooden pine cone chew. And they have one of these little wood chews. This one looks like a tangerine one. I can't remember who makes these. They might have been a Toys from Trees as well, but they came in different shapes. So this one is the orange one. 
And I had given them a couple of the Willow Stars. Um, it looks like Honey has already gotten into this one. I literally put them in maybe an hour ago. So either she's completely destroyed and eaten the other one or we'll find pieces when we go on to the top two levels of the cage. And just in the very back there, we do have a second veggie ball. This is just because there's two bunnies living in this cage and I don't want them having to fight over their veggies. All right, so this is the third level of Honey and Rocky's cage. So we have a large water bowl here. We have a second one on top, but this is where the biggest one is. And then we have Honey's bowl here, which is so cute. It says peace and love. And it's just got little pink hearts and trees on it and flowers. And this was from Target. I think it was about a dollar fifty. So on this level, we just have some other toys as well. So they just have this rattle roller, I think it was. This was a UK product from when I did a trade a while back with Animal Mag Kate. As you can see, the pets have just loved it. I do switch what cages it's in occasionally, and they all really enjoy chewing on it. We have one of these corn husk raffia rollers. We have one of these shredders. Now this was something we got a little while ago and I am so shocked. I've had it in Honey and Rocky's cage because I was sure Honey would love it and she didn't touch it. And then I had it in Willow's cage and she didn't touch it. So I've put it back in here to see if maybe I can um, gain some more interest from Honey. What I might do is make a toy out of this. Like I've got other little bits and bobs that I could maybe make some kind of hanging toy to encourage Honey to um, chew on it. I'm just really surprised that none of them have really cared for it. I've also got a paper towel roll in here. Now this may seem big to you guys. You could cut it down if you want. Um, but Rocky actually really likes the tall ones. He loves to try and flip them in the air. And sometimes he gets them where they actually land like straight up and down. And it just drives him crazy. So he has a lot of fun with these. So that's why I didn't cut this one down at all. And they just have one of these laundry detergent lids. Um, if you're going to use any hard plastic lids from things, don't use anything from like something really dangerous like a chemical bottle. Um, but laundry detergent ones are okay. All I do first is just um, throw them through the dishwasher just so that they get nice and clean. If you notice your rabbits not just um, tossing them but actually nibbling on them, please make sure to remove them. All right, and just in the back of this level here, we actually have the shredded station. So for whatever reason, this is where Honey just loves to dig and chew and shred. So what I've started doing is actually just putting layers of cardboard in this section so that she can dig and do whatever she wants. Um, she has a ton of fun. I often hear her late at night digging and shredding up the cardboard, but that way it isn't wrecking the cage at all and I can just replace the pieces as needed. And on the very top level here we have a nice snuggly bed because it is winter time here now. I have added the additional little pet bed underneath, so I'll just show you what that looks like. So these are just actually litter box pans from the dollar store, but they make good beds if you have chewers because your rabbits can't really wreck it. Um, and then inside I've just put a nice little fleece and then I put one of these little pet beds from the dollar store as well. So it just adds some extra warmth and cozy comfort for them. Okay, and this is just their other little dish again from I think they're from Target and they were about a dollar fifty a piece I have the smaller version for the guinea pigs but this is just a more boyish looking one as compared to the one Honey has which is more girlish and just in this corner here is where we keep their second water dish and food dish all right, so this is Ollie and Willow's cage. Ollie and Willow actually live separately even though they get daily floor time together. This is because although Willow is spayed, Ollie can't be neutered. He has a heart condition, so he can't go under any anesthesia um, because that could actually stop his heart since there's irregularities with his heart. Um, but I'm just very lucky that he's a very calm and loving and mellow bunny and him and Willow get along great. 
um, but he can get a little bit frisky so I wouldn't want to house them together because I'd be too scared he would just wouldn't stop bugging her and then she might get upset or he might do something to hurt her or vice versa so although they get um, daily floor time together at nighttime they sleep in separate cages their cage is made out of an old X pen X pens in Canada anyways are really expensive this one was about $150 and it's equivalent to two grids wide by five grids long. Um, so what we did just to make it tall enough to have each cage have two levels was to just add a layer of grids at the top. So that way Willow and Ollie get both a two by five main floor, but then it also gave them uh, basically a two by two second floor and when you're designing your rabbits cages or looking for a cage you need to make sure that the rabbits going to be able to hop comfortably at least three times from one end to another without hitting things like their litter box or their food dishes that kind of thing that there's an area in the cage where they're able to stand up on their hind legs and preferably additional levels are good as well just because that helps to keep those back legs nice and strong. I'm just going to start with Ollie's cage first. So in the far lower right hand side he's got his hay rack and litter box. Hi boo boo! I just swapped the bunnies so Ollie and Willow have just finished their floor time and Rocky and Honey are just beginning theirs. So these guys are chilling out. Hi boo boo! Oh, you're so cute. Look at you posing for the camera. So cute, buddy. All right, so just in the lower left side, we have a pretty chilled Ollie. Like I said, he just finished floor time, so he's pretty calm now. And we've got a leopard print pet bed. This is just from Dollarama. They're about $3 each there, and you'll often see them in my guinea pig cage tours. There's all different colors and patterns you can get. I'm just trying it out with Ollie because if you watched last month's cage tour, you would know that I had a small pet tent in here, and he actually absolutely... Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. He actually really, really liked that pet tent. Um, if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, you would have seen the photo of him sleeping in it with his paws hanging out. The only problem was it was a little tall for underneath here, so I'd often find it kind of collapsed or on its side. I think when he got in and out, it would move around, and because it was pressing on like the roof right here, it wasn't fully expanded. So I'm going to... So I'm going to try a nice little pet bed there and see if he likes that instead. And just because it's easier to show you this way, he's got a fiddlesticks log house right beside that. In the center of his cage, he just has these baby keys hanging down. I find my bunnies love to grab onto these and swing them around. And just behind that, he just has this wooden hanging toy that I made him. Now Ollie doesn't really play with toys too much unless there's food hidden inside them. He's more of a snuggler and the way to his heart is definitely through his stomach. So I always offer him toys but he doesn't really bother with them too much. Um, so you may have remembered this from my last cage tour. It's just a cut up t toilet paper roll. If you're looking for some good DIY toys that are really cheap or from things that you can find in your house already, hop on over to my blog budgetbunny.ca. There's a whole section on there just for toys for bunnies. Um, most of them I think would be good for guinea pigs as well but as you can see every single one of my other pets even the guinea pigs demolished this toy that I had made for them last month and Ollie's has just collected hair. Ollie also has this willow star. Don't be fooled that corner was chewed off by someone else. This little willow heart came in a pack of pine cones from Little Bunny Guru's Etsy shop and I've just put it in Ollie's cage. I think it's really cute. This is also from Little Bunny Guru's Etsy shop. These are her all natural pine cones. Ollie has a Timothy twist which it actually looks like he might have taken the smallest nibble out of. He has one of these little jingle balls. And this is one toy that Ollie does tend to play with. This is a Petco product that was sent to us last year. And Ollie really likes to um, dig at it and push it around. 
Alright, so this is just the ramp that goes up to Ollie's second level. I've had some people ask how we made them. This is just like untreated wood. I think this is particle board actually. And then all these are are square doweling that you can get at Home Depot that my husband just screwed in. He just measured like how thick this was going to be so that the screws didn't come out the back. And um, and then we just used heavy duty hinges. I think we actually started with smaller hinges but once the rabbits were hopping up and down them um, I think one of the hinges actually broke under their weight because it just wasn't sturdy enough. So these are just like a really good heavy duty hinge that my husband just screwed into the top level and into the um, ramp right there. And then it makes it really easy as well for me to lift to get underneath to clean. Hello Miss Willow, we're going to come see you next. So this is Ollie's second level. On his second level, he has his veggie ball. And this is where Ollie's water bowl is kept. And this is Ollie's food dish. As you can see, he has the same boyish one like Rocky. And just in the back there is Ollie's bed. This is identical to Rocky and Honey's. It's just made out of a unused cat litter box from the dollar store, a pet bed, and then a nice fleecy blanket. Hello. You wanna say hello? Hello everybody. Hello. Now Willow's cage is identical to Ollie's in layout except it's opposite. So on the lower left hand side is where her litter box and hay rack are. On the back wall here she has her homemade toy. This is just a whole bunch of different toys like loofah chews and different little willow balls and wood chews strung together. Right to the left of her door, she has this Veggie Patch Carrot Chew Toy. She actually really loves this and had eaten all of the little sizal carrots. And Lubu Shedsu was kind enough to send us more carrots as a gift just because I couldn't find any around here to fill the Veggie Patch with. In the back right hand corner, she has her little cardboard hidey house. And just hanging right in front of that, she has some little baby links. Now Willow loves to nibble, but she's very good at only chewing on things that she's supposed to. So I make sure she's got lots of little chew toys. So the first is this little wooden woven toy. We won this in Lubu Shedzu's summer theme contest. She has one of these corn husk raffia rollers. Now you may remember this candy cane willow chew from Ollie's cage tour last month. Of course he didn't touch it. It's been in Willow's cage for a couple hours and she's already gotten the top off it. She just has this little wood chew. I think this is supposed to be a watermelon. This is what's left of a Timothy twist chew. She has a toilet paper roll. And she has this soft wood chew. I believe this is a Busy Bunny product. It came as a pack of two, so I usually give the other one to Honey. And of course, we can't forget Willow's favorite, her little dumbbell toy. We can never change this one around because Willow just loves it so much. All right, so this is the very top level of Willow's cage. So she has her little snuggly bed in the back there. She's got a veggie ball and her water dish and her food dish is identical to Honey's. It is the adorable hearts, flowers, little trees and says peace and love on it. Alright guys, so that's our November rabbit cage tours. As you probably noticed, the Halloween decorations are still up. I've just been really, really busy this month and haven't had a chance to switch over to our new holiday theme. But that should happen in the next couple of days, so stay tuned. Bye!